Hey guys, Austin here. I'm one of the pastors over at the San Marcos Escondido campus and I'm bringing you today's daily dose. Uh, it's a doozy of a dose today, so let's just jump right in. Uh, if you wanna turn with me to 1 Peter 4, verse 9, we're gonna jump in. 1 Peter 4, verse 9. It says this, offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Stop. When was the last time that you just did, you served somebody so well and maybe they were a little annoying and you did it without grumbling? Oh man, that's good. <laughs> offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. Maybe that's what you needed to hear today. As you go out, man, use the gifts that God has given to you to serve others, giving God's grace in the various forms that your gifts give and doing all that without complaining or grumbling or expecting something from what you just did. Let's keep going. Verse 11, if anyone speaks, he should do it as one speaking the very words of God. If anyone serves, he should do it with the strength God provides so that in all things, God may be praised through Christ Jesus. To him be the glory and power forever and ever. Amen. I feel like when this was written, they just knew that they were, they were giving you something good. And that's why they, they, they top it off with that. To him be the glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Because through all things that we have, all the gifts that we've given, every good thing that we have in our life is through our God, Jesus Christ. And I think that he's saying this because, man, we need to live a life that glorifies God. And when God gives us an opportunity, the gift to do something to serve others, that we need to identify and acknowledge that that is through our God, Jesus Christ. And so often I go throughout a day and I just pat myself on the back. Man, I'm so good at what I do. Oh, oh man, that interaction was great. I'm so funny. Whatever it is, you could, you could fill in the blank with yourself. And I always put myself as like the reason why I'm successful or I make a mistake or whatever the, the thing is, it's always me, right? And the truth is it's God. And that's what we're saying here is everything that we have is through God's grace, his love and his mercy. Uh, the favor that we have in our God, that he has given us anything, the, the breath that we take every single day is because of God. And I just wanna encourage you today to go out and just do those things. Read this passage a couple more times and just mark down some things that you're like, man, this is what I need to do today. I need to serve others without grumbling. Everything that I say is act as if it's the word of God. And is that, is that lifting people up? As a life group leader, you have an opportunity to serve other people by opening up your home and, and having this discussion about uh, the sermon that we just had. And man, this is a little secret. I lead a life group and it's 6.50 and we are scrambling to get our house ready. And I am grumpy about opening up our doors and making sure that our house is clean. And I always need to shift my, my perspective there that we have an opportunity to create a community where we get to dive into God's word and support and love each other and pray for each other. And I know that that's the case for a lot of life group leaders. And that's just always the thing is you gotta remember, hey, we're doing this for God and we're serving others by doing this. And when you, when you offer up your life and you, you humble yourself, I always feel like that's such a refreshing change of perspective. And, and that's what we're looking at here. Do everything that you do through God's strength, through the grace that he gives, so that in all the interactions at home, at school, work, wherever you end up today, that you are just showing people's God's love, his mercy, his grace through the way that you live your life, through the way that you treat others and how, how you carry yourself in your daily interactions and go out and serve somebody. And then when you get done doing it, don't complain about it. And that's my challenge to you. Go out this week and do that. And I think we're gonna do some amazing things in the kingdom of God. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.